Hey guys, in today's video on my series about different financial products, I'm going to be talking about the product that gets most people excited, stocks, just individual stocks, what they are, and my thoughts about them. All right, so a stock, also known as an equity, is a security that represents the ownership of a fraction of a corporation. So when I was in college, uh, one of my first stocks I ever bought was ExxonMobil. Uh, ExxonMobil is a popular gas station in the United States, and basically when I drove by a gas station in ExxonMobil, uh, I looked at it and said, I own a part of ExxonMobil. While that's true, it was a tiny, tiny portion. So imagine uh, a child has a lawn mowing business, and uh, you've seen these type of pitches on Shark Tank before, the lawn mowing business, he's looking to for a $200 donation for a 25% stake uh, or equity portion in his lawn business. All right, so if you're willing to give this child $200, he's giving you 25% of the business. So let's say in 10 years, the business takes off and it's worth $40,000, he sells the business, you get back 25% of that, which is $10,000. It's not quite that simple with regular stocks, but essentially what you're doing with stocks is you're buying a piece of a company. So the value of your stock really just depends on what the market sees that company is worth, right? So different companies like Amazon, Walmart, they started from essentially nothing and their value of the company continued to climb. So those people that invested early have a ownership stake or a stock or equity in that company, they've made a lot of money. As far as my philosophies on stocks, I believe in them. Uh, they've been around for years. I believe over the long run, stocks outperform bonds and your products like mutual funds and ETFs, those are all made up of stocks within them. And I think stocks are good. Now, you wanna be careful not to put too much of your money into one stock. The industry recommended recommendation for how much you should have in one stock is no more than 10%. I like to go a little bit less than that, maybe no more than 5% of your portfolio in one stock, uh, just so that you're not subject to business risk. You know, there was a time where Blockbuster looked like a, a company that was never going away, or Toys R Us, or restaurants nowadays. Uh, the idea is, you don't want to be subject to that company potentially going bankrupt and five to 10% of your portfolio uh, completely dropping to zero. That's why we keep it down to 10% or lower of one stock in your portfolio. For buying stocks, there's lots of companies. Robinhood is a popular one, popular one for free. Uh, because of the industry shift to zero dollar trades, I prefer you to look at one of the bigger companies like Charles Schwab or Fidelity for buying stocks. And they're starting to sell pieces of stocks where you can, instead of buying a share of say Google, which is over $1,000 per share, you can put $5 and have a fractional share. Anyways, there's lots of way to get stocks. I like them. I think they're a great spot in your portfolio, just not too much of it. 